right now it's like I'm continuing my self-care thing that I've been doing for like the past month and I'm doing some test knits actually because I have not really done test knitting myself as in like me testing for someone else. There were some like really amazing tests that I really wanted to try. One was like a cable, I'll show you guys. This is going to look a bit messy because I had to unravel it a bit but that's it's like my own fault. Um, got the yarn. So it's a chunky knit and it's got this amazing cabling detailing and I just figured like cables, I'm really into the cabling um, and I feel like every time I think of like chunky knitwear I think of like lovely cables and yeah I don't know what I'm talking about but yeah this was a yarn I had that I was originally going to make something else with for the past winter but then I didn't end up making the design for it and I'm like well you know what I'm going to use it because I'm trying to obviously tidy up my yarn area here which it's getting a little tidier and use up my yarn and yeah and I really like this. I'm almost done with the body here and then I need to add on the um, sleeves but at the same time I am also knitting up this summer design this is a, the DK weight cotton yarn from Rico I'm gonna like really take my time with this because I don't want to like rush it and I feel like this particular pattern I got about three designs I can do with this one design if that makes sense it will be like a three in one pattern where you can um, adjust it how you want in different ways so I'm really excited to try those out and see how I go I already know I'm gonna make another one because there's some stuff here that I'm not like super happy with but I'm gonna keep going anyway because in case it is like the way I do want to eventually design it so that's just that but today what is it it's Monday I actually want to like tidy up all my shit and get it neat right now you can't see my desk but it is a mess like shit everywhere also, um, I recently got these drawers in. I used to have like a dresser thing here. I don't know if anyone noticed. And I want to tidy all that up and make it neat and make it look good. I'll probably do that now and watch some vlogs and chill a bit and check emails and do a lot of boring stuff. And then I'll think about whether I want to continue this test knit or the next one. I don't know. I will see. I will see. So good morning everyone. Yeah, I just went and got some iced coffee because I needed to get out of the house because um, it's a beautiful day and it's going to be raining the rest of the week so I thought I'd just get out today while I could. Yeah, I don't know what I filmed yesterday. I don't know if I filmed enough so if this is a weird cut. I apologise like, whoops. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys where I got up to. Okay, so yesterday I think I showed you this. And I managed to finish that much up to the neck and it's like that I pop it on excuse that but basically this is pretty much what it looks like it's really cute it's this really cute cabled piece um, so I've worked this slightly differently so this is a test that I'm doing and I worked it a little bit differently I've done this in the round at the bottom so originally I think it's like two pieces. I think I can say these, I think this should be fine. But because I hate seaming, I decided to make it one piece because I'm not, I'm not about that seaming life. But I did have to seam the shoulder. Because you can see the pattern here, it's like a cable and then it's pearl and then, you know, knit, pearl, whatever. Um, yeah, I had to do a sort of, I did a kitchener sort of stitch. Um, I think in the pattern it suggests something else, but I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to make it something else. 
Um, it came out okay, but you can see that it's a little bit off there. But I'm hoping no one looks too closely here at that. Um, but yeah, I think it's coming out really cute. I made the neck higher than suggested in the pattern as well because I wanted to, yeah. But overall the patterns turned out really nice. I also added length to it because it was a bit too um, high for my liking. So originally when I had it on, it actually came up to here. So my belly button's there. It was like more up here. So I've added it so it's like that because a lot of my high waisted stuff sits sort of there. So I think that's okay. And I just need to add the sleeves, really. And that's pretty much it. And then I think it's like really cute. And it feels like such like a classic sweater, like such a classic chunky sweater because I think cables feel that sort of classic um, feeling. Classic, classic. I'm just gonna say that several times. I think that's really cute so far. So I'm actually really enjoying this. I might take a photo for Instagram and also to put in the group chat. I might see if I continue this tonight or not. I might leave it for the rainy days because I think it'll be really cozy to knit on a rainy day. Um, yeah. Oh, also the yarn I use for that is this we uh, no what is it wool in the gangs in duck egg blue, which I think is so pretty. I love that name duck egg. Anyway, yesterday I also started on another test knit that I signed up for, and it's this Amara sweater by Rachel Knits Things, and I've tested for her before, and her designs are like incredible, amazing. Um, yeah, it's just, it's another cable piece. It's like on the thinner yarn and it's really like, again, it looks like a real classic sort of sweater like piece, like something you'd see at those like fancy shops and they charge like so much for it. So yeah, I thought I'd, I thought it'd be really cool to do that and like challenge myself a bit and work cables because I don't work cables often because I can't be bothered, but I'm like, I may as well try it and give it a go. Um, even though it's like coming into summer here, it's like, oh, I kind of, you know, I don't know. I still wanted to like try it. So I'm doing the hem a little differently. I think the hem is actually like one long piece. It's, I don't know how much I can say about it because it's still in testing. Like it's still early in testing. I'm going to look at her pictures on Instagram first and see what, see what... <sighs> She's posted up first. So that this is the sweater here. I'll pop it up on the screen for you guys. And yeah, again, I think it's so, so nice. It has like these cables and then a brioche stitch, which I've never really done before. So the back detailing here, you can see on the picture, it has, um, it's like got the split at the back. So what I've done instead is I've decided I wanted to get a split on, um, the front and the back so I have a split on both sides instead I don't really want the split in the back so I'm making two pieces so this is my first piece and then I'm gonna cast on the stitches for the next piece like the front or the back and I'm still debating whether or not to make the back longer like I think I might make this part the back and then make because I think this is longer than suggested or shorter I don't know um and then make the front and then join them in the round and then that should be Pretty much the same. I think I have to engineer a few parts of the chart but I've done that to myself but that's kind of like what I want. And the yarn I'm using for that is merino wool so it's like a fingering yarn weight or four ply weight yarn. It's the Drops Baby Merino and I, I like it so far it's kind of it's really nice and it's the Mohair Kids Silk. Mo okay I, I swear I'm struggling I need more coffee. Drops Baby Merino Kid Silk Mohair by Drops as well. I think I should have enough yarn to make this, I'm hoping. So um, yeah, that's that pattern. So that is two tests I have to do. But because it's so nice today, I think I'm gonna go in the kitchen, no, in the dining room and hang out in the sun. And um, I actually have a collaboration that I'm really excited about that I'm working on. So I think I might work on that. It's one of those super secret collaborations I can't talk about, like all the other YouTubers and Instagrammers. Uh, yeah, I'm not very good at being cool about it. It's really exciting. Like I'm, I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna see how that like goes. But yeah, I'm gonna move to the kitchen now. Ow! Oh, I hit my knee. Uh.